am a master student majoring in computer science and this is my code for running a program that reads float value from user and stores it in um, float so this program is written in mips and if you're having trouble with mips here is my code on how to read float values and store float values so this part of the code which is from dot data to dot global main is pretty simple the only difficult thing here is float helper so what we're doing is we're just storing 0.0, .0 in float format yes it has to be dot float 0.0, .0 in any named variable apart from that i have message one storing the first message and message two storing the second message the names of these variables can be anything depending on what you want coming down to the main function now this can be a little difficult what we're doing here is in i i don't exactly understand what lwc1 does but there is no work around this it is used for float values and what we're doing is we are storing 0.0, .0 which is in float helper so we're storing float helper in dollar sign f1 uh, the rest of the code is pretty much the same this one loads message one then it gives control to the user to enter the value then it loads message two and it stores the entered number in float format so even if you put in three it's going to store it as um, 3.000 or whatnot so let's look at it at our ubuntu command prompt so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount this on my c drive and i'm going to uh, change directory to where my code is stored then i'm gonna say spim which uh, starts spim on ubuntu then when we're going to load the code so the command for that is load name of the file dot extension which is dot asm now if it displays a message that means there's an error in the code so you go back and check your code and if it returns this which is the next line that means your code is fine then you just say run it says enter number so let's hit 4.899 and the number it stores is 4.899000017 so this shows us that even with float numbers it doesn't exactly store the number entered because we didn't enter this 17 but it's stored Whereas the spin that has been um, entered after the code is just because I did not put a new line, uh, which is why it has just returned control to the same line. And if I press enter, it would just run the code again and do that. So unless I hit exit. So that is MIPS. Running the same code on Qt spin now. This is my console on the left side and my right side has your uh, Qt Swim program. So what we're going to do is we're going to say file reinitialize and load every time we need to reinitialize. Otherwise, it's going to throw errors that don't make sense. I've already loaded the file. I'm going to click on play. It's going to say it's going to ask for number and this time I'm just going to say four. And that's it. 4.0000 works the same.